Right, good evening and welcome back to Uncharted 4. So last time on Uncharted 4, I made an oopsie and I forgot to plug my mic in so we had to redo last night's progression. We uncovered Nathan Drake's dark and questionable past as a domestic terrorist, found a very phallic map and got into a shootout with some nasty gentlemen, and we accidentally gave Nathan some free facial reconstructive surgery by smacking our face into the side of a cliff unintentionally. So it was quite a riot last time. And uh, I got hosted by one of my very, very generous friends, which I'm very grateful for. So, actually, before we begin, I kind of wanted to take a minute to talk about the Game Awards for a minute. Uh, were the Game Awards disappointing for anybody else? Because it was pretty shit. There was, like, one or two games that they showed off. Like, that, um, what was it? Like, Naraka Blade something? That looked pretty interesting. It was, like, kind of, like... It looked kind of like a Neo-paced Souls-like, but with, like, Sekiro's grappling system, so that looks a little interesting. Um, I don't know what to make of it quite yet, because I don't know what kind of game it is. I don't know if it's going to be, like, a Souls-like with bosses and world kind of exploration kind of a thing, or if it's going to be, like, primarily PvP-based or whatever, like, I don't know. That guy has a lemur for a pet. That's pretty neat. Stupid shirt, though. Um, Ghost of Tsushima was the highlight of the Game of Wards for me. That game looks fucking insanely incredible. It looks beautiful, it looks really well done, it looks very atmospheric, it looks awesome. So I'm all for Ghost of Tsushima. Unfortunately, we did not receive any news on Elden Ring. Not a gameplay trailer, not a release date, no announcements, no new footage, nothing. We didn't learn nothing about Elden Ring, which kinda sucks ass. Uh, but that's okay, I'm willing to stay patient to see how the game you know, comes out and stuff like that. But, there is one thing about the Game Awards that is inarguable. Ikumi Nakamura. Cutest part of E3. Or the Game Awards. Seriously. She is a fucking blessing. She is fucking adorable. I love her so much. She's great. Her energy is fantastic. She's like kind of dorky, a little silly. She's fucking amazing. I love it. She brings a very different atmosphere. That's not a very long way down, that isn't too far. If you fell down, you just, you know, kind of hurt your ankles and you press yourself up against the wall so you don't tumble down the cliff. Easy peasy. Uh, where am I going? I'm going up. Yeah, I have to get a little bit more height. Alright, fair enough. Easy enough. And again, Nathan Drake breaking into places that he's not supposed to be in. Because he just can't help himself, can he? So, I remember there being a giant bell tower or some shit in here that we have to climb, and then we have to do some weird puzzly stuff, and then we have to go out a window and then climb up higher or some shit like that, and then something happens and everything goes to shit. Yeah, this is what I remember. Yeah, you gotta, like, climb up these pendulums and boxes and shit like that. Yeah. So, this is the last puzzle, quote-unquote, I remember doing. So pretty much, like, everything beyond this point after this part, I have no fucking clue what's going on. So that's where the game is going to become blind again. Hmm. Oh wow, really? Is this coin going to be the key to everything? Are you serious? Was that necessary? You could have just popped it in the thing like a normal person. Nah, Nathan Drake has to show off. Because he thinks he's a fucking magician when really he's a twat. Are they? Yeah, okay. Yeah, the guy with the pot is Aquarius, right? Or something like that? Oh, Taurus! That must be why mm, Taurus Demon. Alright, I get it now. That's a little forehead. I feel really dumb right now. You have no idea. Like, I literally feel like I just realized how dumb I am. Like, put it into perspective, you know what I mean? Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Alright, so what am I doing then? I don't want to look at the journal. That's not what I'm interested in right now. Do I have to look at the journal? Statues appeared. Scorpio first. Aquarius. Yeah, it was Aquarius. Leo and then Taurus. Okay. Do I have to grapple to something to get up here? Yeah, I figured as much. I was going to say that looks a little bit too high to jump. Alright, Nathan. Use that upper arm strength. We did this a lot in PE. Probably had to do this when you were hiding from your gym teacher, huh? 
What is this camera angle? Why wouldn't it let me climb any higher before I was trying to do that and it wouldn't let me? That's very right weird. Alright, well obviously we jump over here. And then we gotta jump onto this and then work our way around, huh? No, we're fine. Uh, I'm gonna definitely try. How high are we off the ground already? Quite high. Like, honestly, we're already pretty fucking high off the ground. That's a little bit worrisome. Uh. Alright. Ooh, fucking hell. Gee, Jesus Christ. That was a little bit worrisome. Okay, okay, but we're fine. We're fine. Alright, so get up on this. These turn. We climb these. And then what? Are we supposed to, like, jump through this thing? Oh, I see. Alright. Monka shake. Where are we going from here, Nate? Nate, I need, I need your help, champ. Alright. A little bit panicky, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so which one is this? This is Leo, so we don't ring this one first. We have to do Scorpion, uh, Aquarius, Leo, and then, uh, what was the last one? Taurus? Yeah, I think that's it. Alright, so obviously we have to jump on this. And then work our way up? Question mark? Alright, here's Scorpion. So Scorpion has to come first, right? Get over here! Well, I'm working on it, Scorpion. Give me a minute. Right. So this bell goes ding dong, right? Yeah, I bet. That's gonna make you deaf as fuck. You know, they could be normal and go buy some ladders or something and do this shit, but no. We have to do it Nathan Drake style. Okay, I'm guessing we use that to get down to the Leo. The Leo one. So that doesn't come next. So, Scorp uh, Scorpion, Aquarius, so Aquarius is next. No, Nathan, Nathan, this this one, this rotating gear, please, if you don't mind. Champ. Alright, good, let's jump left. Good boy. Are we safe? Yeah, now we're safe, okay. Drop down. There we go. Aquarius? Always nice people. It's a Scorpion, Aquarius. Cover your ears, dickhead. It's not very bright, is he? Let's see here. All right, now we have to get back up to where the Leo was, and the way to do that is clearly up this way. But we can't grab onto that big wheel because there's no things to climb on. So I'm assuming we have to go to the side of this gear and then jump onto this gear and then go up really fast. Seem to have worked out well. And then climb across. Good boy, Nathan. Nice, easy peasy. And then we just gotta run and jump onto this ladder. Nice. Work our way down a little bit. Drop. Ow. I bet that hurt. I feel really bad for Nathan Drake having to gong these huge bells into his ears, though. I bet that sucks. Yeah, you should've. Well, you should learn from the first time you ring the first big bell, right? Okay, one left. All right. So now we have to go to the Taurus one, and I don't remember where Taurus is. If I'm being honest, it's there, but is it higher? Yeah, it must be right there. Yeah, there's a bull. Okay, I'm assuming it's up there then. So that means up the gears. This one is spinning this way. If we take that gear, there's anything to grab onto over here? Yeah. So what is this bell? So we have to climb up and around the opposite side of the tower, I'm assuming? Okay, that is definitely not going to be able to be gripped onto for sure. Oh, maybe we have to jump across that swinging thing. That would make sense. I think. Let's try and do this very carefully, Nathan. Alright? You hear me? Carefully. Ooh, Jesus Christ. This is not safe. Yeah, I wouldn't try this at home, honestly. I really wouldn't. 
Okay, I don't know if we have to be at the highest part, but I'm going to assume we have to be, so. Ah -ha. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. This game is easily going to give people, like, PTSD. Hey, we're at the Taurus statue. GG. Alright, Nathan, one more time. He's definitely going to lose his hearing. See, he does it that time. He covers his ears on the very last one, like it took him that long to fucking learn. Why didn't he just do it on the first one to begin with? That's what I would have done. It's obviously a very large bell. It's gonna fucking hurt if you're standing right next to it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he can hear you over the, you know, clicking of the tower and the gears and the big bells chiming and all that. Alright, these stairs look like they're gonna break if I jump onto them, so... Let's wait for Nathan to put his fucking diary away. Sully's really nice. I really like him. We're best buddies. Come on, Nathan. We have shit to do. If you don't mind, champ. Okay, well, I'm swinging across this, clearly. Simple enough. And then we're climbing up this. Definitely. Uh, what's going on? What What does that do? Okay, it stops the gears moving. Do we just... Oh, we drop, I guess. Oh, it's timed. Fuck me. Alright. Well. No, come on. Hamster wheel, Nathan. Alright. Wait, 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 wait. Get back in, Nate, you fucking twat. Thank you. There's probably something we have to do in here. Nathan Drake is bay, if your standards are low. Maybe. What's up, guns? How you doing? So, this is, like, kind of partially blind. Like, I've done this whole bit before. But, um, there's a part soon after this that I got to that I could not beat. So, we're basically coming up on the part where it gets blind again. Yeah, I had to turn the clock hand, didn't I? So I can jump across this entire bit, huh? Yep. No, we're fine, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, we're fine, it's okay, Nathan. This is very, very not safe. Can we just take a moment to fucking take in the sights? Hmm? Realize how fucking retarded this is? Um, I got to the part where you have to do the, uh, vehicle jumpy jumpy. That's right after this bit, you know what I'm talking about? Where you have to, like, shoot the cars. And then, uh, your car, like, catches on fire and you have to, like, jump in between the different cars and stuff like that. Um, I kept- I kept dying on that part and I got really fucking pissed off a while back so I stopped playing this game. Uh, but I'm actually gonna complete it this time. I'm gonna finish it. So, anything beyond that, I literally have no fucking idea. Like, none of the puzzles, none of the events, I know nothing. Oh yeah, there it is. One life-threatening climb later. How do we get in? Oh, there's a giant door. Okay, Brilliant. Sally, I made it. okay, well, if those little bells really hurt... Yeah, the part you have to chase Sam, yeah. That is very nauseating, that camera pan. I really don't like- Oh, come on. Are you fucking serious, dude? This game just loves fucking... Okay, alright. In for a penny, in for a pound. Let's go. What am I jumping to? That? Uh. Not, not cool. Uh. <laughs> okay. We're fine. We're fine. Let me guess. Something else breaks? Yep, of course. Of course. Again, Nathan Drake can't help but break stuff. Oh, climb up. Alright. Fuck me. Have Sully catch you. Nice save. Nice, easy. <laughs> yeah, holy shit is right. Look at the property damage we just caused. That's a lawsuit for sure. Good thing nobody saw us come in here. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Everybody was too busy tickling their lemurs and trying out the, uh, the local cuisine. Lucky for us. 
one way to do it. You all right? Oh yeah, there's a puzzle down here that I remember took me a while. And like, I understood it, but I didn't quite understand it. And it has something to do with like, matching up the sigils or something like that. Uh, in a rotating thing, I think. So, this next puzzle might take me a minute, because it took me a minute before, but I did figure it out eventually, so... Hopefully, memory will just kind of come flooding back, and I'll be able to kind of forehead it a little bit and make it a little bit easier on people. Uh, no promises, though, because I am a huge idiot, if nobody knows this by now, so... Yeah, that's right, because Rafe is signaling in on their phones, huh? I think. And then Sam gets, like, kidnapped or something? I believe. If I remember right. I'm not sure, though. It's something like that. Sully, could you quit bumping me backwards? I'm just as curious as to what's down here as you are. So, Did we really need that big bell to break through the floor? Couldn't we have just done that to begin with? Maybe Nadine is, like, super smart about this whole shit, and we're just really dumb. Hey, are those our boys? Yep. Yep, those are our boys. Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Alright, so what are we doing here? I don't quite remember how this works. Founders. Yeah, I can read, Nathan. Worst scavenger hunt ever? Yep. Yeah. Easter egg sisters. hunt. Worst. By far. Different, though. Yeah. Got those star patterns on. Oh, yeah! That's right, you gotta line up the star patterns of all the sigils and shit. Which way are they? Yeah, I remember this now. Alright. I remember the stars being the, uh, the main thing that you had to do. And then there's some parts on these portraits where you have to look yeah, for something, but I don't remember what or where. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonnie, and, uh, Christopher Condit. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. Let's say we see where that door leads. Yeah, so we have to go check out the thing, and then we have to match up the stars, hey, look, or right. relay the, uh, positions to something well, on a piece of paper, or some shit like that. Well, let's find out. Oh, uh, what? L2? Oh, All right. that mustache. It's almost... Look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. You're right. Yeah, he writes this down in the journal, and this is how we find out the positions of the tiles, I remember. So, for example, this one has three stars to the left on the underside, and then one star at the top right. But we have to figure out what way to turn it to uh, match up with the rest uh, of the right. uh, sigils, I think. Billy one. There's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. Huh. Funny was a redhead. Yeah. Why did... Sully, bro... Are you into gingers, my friend? Because when he's like, oh, Bonnie was a redhead, he was like, yeah. That was kind of freaky. Don't know how I feel about that. Alright, so yeah, now we have to, like, line these up. Alright. I like how he does that, that little finger flick. Alright, so the only one that could possibly match up with... Or can I change the places of these, or do they have to go on their on their things? I I don't know that yet. All right, so inspect. Turn it. It fits there, right? Yeah. Okay, that matches up. And then yeah, this should match up perfectly fine. Okay. That's turning it the wrong way. That's the way I wanted to put it. No, Nathan, come on. Come on, buddy. Do I have to do this, or is this just, like, not... It doesn't matter. As long as you know what way to turn the sigils. Alright, so two people uh, tilted to the right. Horse facing the feet of the people. And then serpent dragon thing facing downward to the left. Alright. Easy peasy. Hopefully. So let's go back here to these three little things. Three little pigs. Uh, turn that one like that, turn horsey like that, and then this one like this, and boom. Uh, excuse me? That looks right to me. Oh, no it isn't. I'm an idiot. Alright. Wait, didn't I face the dragon downward and to the left like I thought I did? That's what I thought I did the first time. 
Alright. So it was right. And now there's more portraits, and we basically have to do the same thing. And then I remember one of these has the stars rubbed off or something like that. Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. Text a brother. Take the picture, asswipe. Did I really have to make him do it in the game? Come on, dude. Could have just done it himself. There. What if Sully's p phone has, like, a whole bunch of porn of Wendy from, like, the Wendy's restaurant or something? And then we just, like, give Sully a very fucking weird-ass look? Maybe not. William Mays. Yeah. Ah, hello. Yeah, see, there's more stars on these ones. What was that vibration for? What's it vibrating for? Oh, it must be my phone. Hey, you still in the tower? Gotcha. Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Warren, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet, but I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. What do you say? The trident is Farrell? So now we know what the Trident of Feral is like. We just gotta narrow down what picture goes where. If that's the case. By, uh, process of elimination of these. So we just gotta figure out what position goes in what place, I think, in this one. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Oh, I never even saw this on the floor, I don't think, the first time I did this. I think I just figured it out. By, like, process of elimination. So I must have been a fucking baller when I was younger or something like that. Because I think I played this when I was like 19. No, not 19. Uh, maybe like 23 or something like that. Look at Farrell's face. Looks like you'd rather be anywhere else. Alright, so if Farrell is Trident guy, Richard Want is the guy with the pearls. What was William Mays? No, the dolphins are Richard Want. William Mays is the guy with the uh, the pearl. Trident? So, d Dolphin, Pearl, Trident? I think? I don't know if I can look at the phone again to cement that, but I'm just gonna go on the theory that that is correct. Okay, he wrote down the stars. I was gonna say, how do I know what the positions of the stars are? So now I just gotta flip these around until they make sense, I believe. But I don't know which one goes where. Okay, well if the images in the book are flipped, I have to assume that these pictures are supposed to be where the portraits are supposed to be in correlation to whoever sigil that is. So, let's see. Maze was on the far left, yes, and then Farrell was in the middle, and then... No, Want was in the middle. So let's put this up here. Let me go check the portraits again, because I can't remember. My short-term memory is not that good. So, Want, Feral is on the right. So, Maze is on the left. So, Maze, Want, Feral. Alright. Easy enough. So, Maze's pearl thing goes where the dolphins are. Uh, dolphins go in the middle, so... And then Feral goes on the right, yeah? So, it's put... This one here. I think this is how it's supposed to be done anyway. I could be wrong, though. Uh, want is the dolphins, so the dolphins go here. Just play a little game of rearrange. Scrapbooking. Nathan's good at that, right? Maybe you can phone up Chloe for her uh, little Indian girl pictures. So now we just turn this to match up with the stars on this one. Okay, well, that obviously looks incorrect, because there's two stars at the bottom of the right-hand picture, so that can't be right. That could potentially be correct. No, but the stars wouldn't match, unless I have to turn this one a different way. No, that doesn't match up either. Neither does that. 
that also doesn't match up. That, yes, that does match up. Okay, that definitely does. Because there's two stars right there. That one's just placed a little bit higher. Oh, but there's a star on this one on the other side. So maybe that one is wrong. The way that it's placed. Or maybe the dolphin one is wrong. I'm just going to have to figure this out. Um, there's not two stars on the bottom of that part. So that can't be right. That can't be right. That could potentially be right. No, because there's not two stars. So, okay. Um, maybe I can do it by figuring out what this one is instead. Hmm. Okay, there's three, but I don't know if I'm going off the three or not. But I don't think this works any other way, so I think it's got to be the three. But there's no star down there at the bottom, so maybe it's a different three for this one? Like, maybe it's that? Yeah, that matches up. Okay, so th these two definitely go together, and that makes sense. Like, those match for sigils. So then I should just have to figure out how this one goes. Because there's a star down there, so the two wouldn't match up. That wouldn't match up either. Hmm. Alright, what I'll do is I'll just try the dolphin and the trident. So trident goes left, dolphins go vertically with the black one on the right. And then I'll fuck around with the pearl one and see if I can figure it out that way. Assuming that's what I have to do. And assuming they're in the correct positions, because I don't know if they have to be in the positions they are on the thing or not. So trident goes to the right. Do these shift around as well? Maybe they do. Black dolphin. Okay, so something there is incorrect. Okay, so that tells me that something I did was wrong. Or not as intended. So maybe I didn't have to switch the squares around and maybe they're supposed to stay in their respective pictures or whatever. That could be it. Uh, let me see if anything matches up with keeping the things in their original frames. Maybe that's what it is. So, um, I'm going to want to turn them so it doesn't really matter what way they go as long as they're in their own respective photographs. I might have overthought this or something. I'm pretty good at doing that. Okay, so even if we do that, these two still match up, so I still believe these two are correct. But if that were to be the case, then this pearl one wouldn't have mattered what way it transitioned, so something there has got to be incorrect. Um, so they've got to be rotated in an incorrect direction or something like that. Because I don't think no matter what way I turn these, they don't match up. Unless that's it. So, trident left, dolphins... Or fine, and then pearl upside down, pearl and hourglass upside down. So let me try this. Ha! Nailed it. Alright, so they have to stay in their respective photographs. Alright, gotcha. Okay. So who do we have here? And now there's three more. Four more? Okay. I do. I just want to make sure Sam knows. Yeah, this is the like one without the thing having a star, so you gotta figure out how the stars go by process of elimination to the other relevant things. But now that I know you do not have to exchange their placements, that makes this a little bit more manageable, I think. Uh, torch probably fell or something. Come on, let's see what's left. Alright, there's my there's my square. Looks a lot younger than the other pirates. Wait, what are their names? Oh, I don't know what their names are, because they're not on the portraits. Alright, so Sam's gonna tell me each of their names, I'm very sure. So I don't have to worry about it. Ooh, Sam texted me back. Left to right, Edward England, Tariq bin Malik, Yazid Al Basara. I've never seen the monkey sigil before. Yeah, so basically you just gotta figure out who the monkey sigil belongs to, pretty much. So with the information he gave us, we can look at the sigils that we saw on the thing. And if their placements are not changed, that means they're not going to be changed on the machine in the front. So that means, yeah. England Malik, alright, he already wrote it down in the journal, so we don't have to cross-reference information, so that's pretty nice. We don't know who the monkey sigil is, and Albasar is the tiger. So now we just gotta look for the star patterns, pretty much. So we know what way to turn the, uh, turn, turn the things. Found the stars, who are you? Yazid al-Basra. Looks 
India. Close. Muggle. Wait, not the muggle. Oh, there we go. It's on a scarf. Gotcha. Waste cloth, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever the case. This dude looks like Gimli a little bit. Not as manly of a beard, though. Oh, and your squares on your uh, fanny pack, your man, your man pouch. All right, gotcha. This should be pretty simple, I think. All right, so by process of elimination. All right, I got the names of two of them. You should still be able to figure this out. That means the monkey sigil must belong to uh, this dude, this uh, Yazid Al Basara guy. No, he was the tiger, right? All right, so if he was the tiger guy. Malik in England, then the monkey must belong to, uh... Alright, so this is England. Okay, so the frames are swapped now to the book. So this is why I thought I had to exchange the frames of the pictures. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so England is the scales. Malik is the serpent with the, uh, whatever the fuck that is. Albasar is the tiger. So that means tiger has to be placed in the third frame over the monkey. Or may maybe it doesn't, I don't know. So England is the scales, we have those two to go on. So let's start moving these things around, I think. We don't know which of these things belongs to what. Because they're both question marks. But that's cool, we can figure out who they are just in relevance to the, uh, to the uh, star patterns. Should be alright. So, which one of these has four stars? Okay, the only one with four stars that matches up, so... This one either turns this way... And the tiger goes next to it because it has four star patterns? Or there's a different pattern altogether? So, if I'm to assume that I don't have to really move the placement of these, that means that this has to match up with something. For example, that matches up with that pretty well. And that means that this one's placement is correct, but I don't know if it's rotated the correct direction. The tiger... ...matches up with this print, but if we're not exchanging the photographs, that means the tiger has to be changed a different direction. Which could mean that the other ones are not flipped the correct way as well. Because this panel, nothing matches up with that. So I can automatically infer that the one, the Malik one, is turned the incorrect way. Which would mean that I'm supposed to match this up differently. And that the scale one is turned the wrong way. But there's no double. So if there's no double, see there's a triple pattern here. But that gives the four stars on the opposite side and that's incorrect. So there is a singular one on this, if I were to turn this one to the right. So if I were to leave the scales as is, that still matches up correctly. And then, I can automatically infer that this one has to be turned that way. And then something has to match up with the tiger. Or maybe I do have to swap the placements, because nothing is matching up with the tiger at all. So, that doesn't really make sense to me that all that stuff matches up, and then this would not. So... Maybe I do have to swap the placements of these, or maybe I have these two incorrectly placed. Because, seeing as how these are both question marks, that means they could either switch, or... Yeah, so I must have these, like, wrongly placed, so maybe this one goes here, and then this one goes here, and that changes everything. But then that would mean that the scales are turned the incorrect way, so let's look for a pattern that matches the scales. That matches the scales. Because if I were to turn this one and rotate it like that, that would mean the scales go upside down. That would make more sense to not having to turn the first one at all. Um, that one doesn't match, so if I'm to assume those two are correct, that means this one would have to face this way. And then... This one does have four stars on it, so all the patterns match up. I don't have to change the placement of any of the things, really. I've done the process of elimination between these two in correlation to the stars on either side of the pieces. Uh, that makes sense to me. So now we just gotta figure out what sigil belongs to who, pretty much. Oh wait, no. Because we know, because Malik is the serpent. So if Malik is the serpent on the frame, then we know, right? 
and the tiger is Albasara. So as long as we know what way to turn the positions of the things, it doesn't matter, because this one has to be upside down to get the star pattern to match up with the rest of these in reference to each other. So, scales upside down, this one turned to the left vertically, uh, this one turned completely upside down. So two upside downs, and then this one has to be, okay, tiger and arrows at the bottom. Easy fucking peasy, I think. Unless I'm retarded and I got this wrong, in which case we'll find out very soon, won't we? So scales go upside down. Monkey goes upside down. And then tiger goes like this, and then as long as we rotate this one a particular direction, we'll figure it out eventually. Ooh. Voila. Very cool puzzle. Very fun. What do we got? Good stuff. Sure. Alright. So, like I said, this probably won't be too bad. Really? Hey, you're the one who said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Okay, that's one. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's kind of how my head works. Easy puzzle. Still very fun. See, I like the puzzles that actually exercise your mind. I don't like just pointless, stupid trial and error puzzles where, like, in Lost Legacy, where it's, like, the elephant hands and the arms don't match the portrait and the freaking statue in the big part, you had to do a particular side first before you could do the other side. It's just fucking stupid. I don't like shit like that. Stuff like this, though. Stuff like this is fun. The shadow puzzle, that was fun. The axe puzzle in Lost Legacy, that was fun. Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Ready then. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These. Yeah. So now we're pretty Avery much up to the point where I left off, I believe. Latitudes, yeah. and so I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. Yeah, good thing Sully has a plane and we don't have to catch an Uber over there. That'd be expensive as fuck. Oh, can't be. Can't be what? Oh my god, so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking about? Yeah, for real. Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> yeah, see, here's Rafe. Rafe. Yeah, monk okay. ass. How'd you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find it, guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't. All right, who sold us out? I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But Certainly did, end, didn't I? Thank you very much. Avery's treasure first. Well, that sounds like a bet. Yo, well, I doubt it's gonna be you, dickhead. You know I'm always game, but my partner, well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow, Rafe Adler. Taking orders Adler? What kind of last name is Adler, dude? That doesn't sound very uh, menacing at all. Having the first name Rafe was, you know, bad enough. Go home, live your life. That's why he committed his life to crime, huh? This kid got, like, bullied incessantly when he was a kid, huh? In school. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus Quoto sent you. God and liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. We didn't steal it. It was an auction, dickhead. You just didn't bid on it. You had it won. But she didn't announce it yet, so technically we didn't steal it from you. You're just a sore loser because you're a cunt. And you have a stupid haircut. Bye. Oh. Shit, that's awkward. You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? Oh, shit. I'll see you soon, buddy. Yeah, I bet you will. Alright, so I remember this next part being an absolute pain in the dick. So basically, there's one more little segment... And then, uh, the part that I'm stuck on is coming up very shortly. Yeah, that sounds great. Gunfire from the other end of the line. Oh boy. Hey. Hey. Oh, will you? Really? Sully? Sam? Nate? 
that did look like a quite expensive phone. And we did have uh, Chloe's uh, Indian girl pictures she sent us. Hopefully with a few nudes as well. That'd be nice, right? Although she wouldn't be sending them to Sully, would she? Not really any interest for her there. Nathan Drake, on the other hand. What the fuck? How the fuck did they get in there? It's a bell tower. It's supposed to be super sacred or some shit. I think that's Sam's tower. It's definitely Sam's tower. Come on. This way. Yeah, everybody's wondering what the hell's going on, and we're just like running through the crowd, super obvious. How long you think before rape gets here? How the fuck is Sully able to get through all this shit, and I'm sitting here having to push people out of the way? Like, get the fuck out of the streets, dude. There's bombs going off. Are you serious? They're like, oh, no, it's perfectly normal. I'm just gonna buy my mangoes and my fruits and my vegetables and shit. Oh, now I have a gun? Oh, this cover system, dude. Alright. Those two are dead. I'm running super low on ammunition already because I fire like a mongoloid. Sully's wondering what the fuck I'm doing. I need a single shot pistol. And an AK-47, that'll help as well. Fuck. Oh yeah, what, what, what gave you that idea, Sully? Huh? Maybe the getting shot at part? Maybe you can steal one of these uh, chickens for some energy, Nathan? Can I... Can I really not look around the fucking stand? Yeah, have it in the foot, dude. What? Come on, like three of those at least were headshots. Yeah. Alright, where are we going to next? Gonna roll out this way. Fuck off, dickhead! Dude, die, please! Jesus, god. How many bullets do they take? I know they got body armor, but I'm shooting them point blank with an AK-47 in the neck multiple times. That would most definitely kill somebody, I'm sorry, but it would. That guy still isn't dead? What? How? Fuck you. You're dead now. Sully. <laughs> well, yeah, dickhead. Kind of your own fault, right? Oh, Christ. I missed. It's my fault. Get down, idiot. What? Sully's doing all the work because none of my bullets are hitting idiots. Yeah, no shit. I'm working on it, dude. I'm gonna not get annihilated by, you know. What? D Bro? <laughs> are you fucking serious, dude? I was trying to get inside the building and I couldn't. Come on. What? God fucking damn it, dude. This stupid fucking game. Fuck off, dude. Really? This game's combat is so terrible. Like, why the fuck do they do shit like that? I literally can't see because I'm getting a dude shooting at me here. I have a dude around the corner here. I'm trying to roll back into the building so I can take some fucking cover. And I'm just getting kicked to death because I can't fucking move. Like, come on. It's fucking bad. It's on light, too, for fuck's sake. Like, really. It's 
That's why I don't play these games on harder difficulties. The gameplay is just too fucking janky. It's annoying as hell. Oh yeah, I remember this driving part being an absolute pain in the dick, so we'll see how this goes. Probably won't be too good. Because I remember that truck being a pain in the ass. Those guys aren't really problematic. The foot soldier dudes are not too bad, but... Yeah, could I drive the car, please? Like, what the fuck is the traction on this thing? Okay, we just hit, like, a family of three, for sure. Like, they are dead. I was gonna say, I was supposed to drive through here, huh? Good thing I swerved and, like, made it just in time. That was a little bit... a little bit crafty. Yeah, get out of the way, dude. I guarantee you the guy in the truck with the Gatling gun is driving, like, 15 times better than me. Oh my fucking god, like, steering this vehicle is next to impossible. It really is. It moves too much. Like, it's too janky. Alright, where are we going from here? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best, dude. What? Like, really, Uncharted? Are you fucking kidding? Are you fucking kidding? Please tell me this game is fucking kidding. It's, it's so bad. It doesn't look that bad, but it is that bad. Trying to steer this car is fucking impossible. Oh, am I? Thanks for rubbing it in. I can't steer, dude. Like, it won't let me fucking steer. Like, the traction goes to shit as soon as you move. It's pretty insane. Alright, well, we're going this way, clearly. Uh, go across, up the stairs, hopefully. Off-road? Yeah, off-road. Alright. That'll do, pig. Where's the big truck? Not here. Good. Alright, that's all the news I needed. Don't. Fuck. You see what I mean, dude? Like, you try and turn a little bit, and then it freaking steers you, like, a huge margin. Like, a 90 degree angle. It's fucking insane. Like, the torque on this thing is crazy. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I see the giant crane. It's pretty hard to miss. It's pretty bright yellow, too. It's like a highlighter. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Sully. Cool. Embarrass me more. Yeah, fuck you, Nathan Drake. Seriously, fuck you in the ass. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, well, this this is safe, yeah. Okay, that was really lucky. Are we going up here? Yeah, we're going up here. Alright, we're going straight to the tower? Brilliant. God damn, dude, that part sucked ass. I remember that being bad. This is the part I'm stuck on. Like, this is where the game gets blind again. So, if I can complete this segment, um, I've never been past this before. I have no idea what the fuck's coming from this point forward. So this is all brand fucking new. I have no idea what's happening after this part. And I, I can't even guarantee that I'll be able to get past it, because last time I couldn't get past it, so... Uh, this part is very, 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 very fucking bullshittingly hard. And I was playing on normal before. And uh, I'm playing on light now, so hopefully that much of a difference will allow me to get past it. I, just, I don't like turning down the difficulty on games, but, like, usually I play shit on normal. But, uh, these games play janky as fuck, so I was just gonna play it on fucking light. Alright, so I don't remember what way I gotta swing. Uh, what way do I have to go? I don't know. Alright. Let's not get hit by that wooden post, shall we? Okay. Doing alright so far. This is kind of the part I got to.
Where are the guys that are shooting at me? Kind of a stupid question, right? Oh yeah, that's right. They can shoot the panels off the truck. Like, okay, okay, I gotta restart. This is what I'm talking about. It's just way too fucking unfair. Like, there's nothing you can do. They shoot the panels off the sides of the car. Like, so you don't have any cover. It's, like... This is the part I couldn't get past. I don't know why the fuck they'd make it like that. I really don't. It's just, it's fucking stupid. You can't hit any of the guys. They shoot the panels off. You have no time to heal yourself. You can't take cover to heal yourself. It's just fucking bad. I don't know, this part is very poorly designed. This is what I remember having trouble with. So I'll just try and, like, maintain calm until I beat it, but, like, this is fucking stupid to me. How is this dude not dead? Cool, you gonna die now? Thanks. Cool if the game didn't fucking cheat. Uh, no? Are you serious? How much have I shot his car, dude? Blow the fuck up. Thanks. Dude, what the fuck? I'm on light. I'm on light, by the way. Fucking Jesus. Fucking damn, man. Who else? Really? This is on light, by the way. Imagine doing this shit on normal. Yeah, that definitely would've caused you to fucking, like, come on. Alright, AK is gonna be really hard to hit this guy with. Fuck you, dude. Alright, truck blows up. Fuck this guy. Give me your jeep, prick. I can't shoot. Okay. So let me guess, I have to get up to this armored truck and then jump to it? Fair enough. Like, if it gives me a checkpoint in this segment, I'll be fine. But if it doesn't give me a checkpoint, fuck that. Yeah, this is- I remember specifically this is the part that I got to. Let me in! What the fuck? Let me crouch. Let me crouch. Crouch, please! Come on, gray screen. I was gonna say, how have those guys not flipped over? Alright. Doing good so far. <laughs> Time, to bail. Time to bail, what? God damn it, dude. This segment is fucking rough. Like, this is insanely long, not to mention. Oh, hey, there's Sam. GG, good shit. Nice. No, fuck you. Fuck you, dude. Let me steer. Yeah, dude, where are you jumping to, idiot? Have fun. Dumbass. Do I have to jump onto the bike? Oh, maybe not. Alright. Dude, car! I can't steer! It's steering itself. It just totally pile-drived me into the wall. 
I had no control. Nice. Okay, I got past that part. Thank Christ. That was the part I was stuck on, so this point forward, I've not seen shit. This is all blind from here. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, of course, one of the giant trucks that was shooting at me that I used for safety is now, like, the cause of my death. Great. Oh! Insult to injury. Fun. Literally. Nice. Yeah, fuck that. We're not going out like that. Not after all that bullshit. Fuck that. Yep, no shit. I'm working on it, Nathan. You're not really helping me out here, sunshine. A little bit. A little bit more effort. You know, is Sam gonna stop and pull me out? Maybe? What? Oh, I had to, like, move my hand over with the analog. I see. You sure about that? Yeah, well, they did shoot me a good three times. Like, they had a few good shots as well, so. Oh, come on, man. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, bike's a good idea. Yep, sorry we argued. Do I gotta take out this truck now? Shit. Yeah, I clearly gotta take out the truck. I'm working on it. Ah. Yum, yum. How many clips does this Uzi have? Dude? Do I just have infinite ammo for the Uzi? Oh, Jesus. God, this thing is a monster, man. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, of course they survived that. Of course they would. Nathan and Sam Drake. Holy shit. These guys should join yeah. a circus. They'd be great at that. These guys are just like, oh, okay. Really? They're not gonna look at us weirdly? Yeah, like that black guy right there? That's what I'd be doing. I'd be like, uh... And we just ride away into the sunset? Gotcha.